Hello guys, what's up? It's Proof Silco here. Thank you so much for joining today's live stream. I'm back with another tutorial video. I'm gonna do a really short intro here. So this is episode two of Training Thursdays. If you missed the first one, click on the notification in the top right corner. And that video did crazy good. I asked you to leave a like if you enjoyed it. And my goal was 300 likes and we managed to do that. Currently it's counting on 344 likes. So thank you so much again for the support. Proof Army is unstoppable. And I'm gonna ask you to do the same thing here as well. The like goal is the same, 300 likes again. So make sure to leave a like if you enjoy it. And of course you can leave a dislike if you didn't. Subscribe if you're new here for more PUBG console tutorials in the future. And I see you in the next video, bye. I think one of my uh, live streams on this week, uh, one of you guys told me that you have less recoil if you have uh, fully if you fully boosted so this is what we're gonna test today as a start so as you know we test here everything let's see this is without boosting i have like uh, some sort of boost going on uh, in my body but that's that doesn't matter because the only thing that matters is the last 10 person which you'll see in the moment So this is the full magazine without boosting. Let's boost up to 100% and let's see the recoil difference. As you can see, the difference is night and day. <laughs> so it's true, it's confirmed. Footsteps with shoes will make less noise only on sand. So I make sure that I my character have shoes on and if I don't if I play on any other maps than Miramar I just remove my shoes uh, I prefer to you know put the CQC weapon in the primary weapon slot because I'll show you something in a second hopefully no one's here and I won't get shot so the vector is in the primary weapon slot as you could see before before if I switch weapons, you see the primary is equipped overhand and the secondary is underhand. So if I lay down on the grass, in the grass, behind a short, you know, barricade or something cover, I can equip the CQC weapon without showing it and also the secondary weapon. If I would switch that and try to do the same. You'll see uh, the bag is covering small part, but still exposed. <laughs> Since we play on Miramar, uh, my primary tactic on this map is to try to grab a vehicle as soon as I can and go with that vehicle to the center of each safe zone. I like to use the M16, it's a budget DMR if I don't find any. Because uh, out of all the ARs, according to my last measurement, the M16 has the fastest bullet velocity. So someone else is shooting at him. I have a suppressor, so I'm more or less okay to shoot. It's still audible to other players who are nearby, but won't attract more players from farther away. I made a mental note about that guy on the hill. So after clearing the whole area or the whole compound, I will check for that guy. You can see the guy. It's right there. So, patience is key. 
And the location I landed, it's pretty easy to spot it on the map because it has three warehouses next to each other and two longer ones. It's like an L shape of warehouses and it has usually pretty good loot. All right, so if I don't have enough space in my inventory, prefer I like to use this trick. I drop a huge amount of ammunition and then pick it up all again after I picked up the item I wanted to grab initially. So this is a really efficient and fast trick to grab the loot what you want from the ground and also keep as much ammo as possible. So I already talked about this before <clears throat> but I want to explain once more that if you have a broken vest you shouldn't switch to a fresh one if it's lower level until the broken one has less than 50% health remaining. Well, there's more complex calculation behind that, but this is a short version. Of course, it's not exactly 50%, but if you go with 50%, you won't make a huge mistake and it's easy to remember. The only time when I would recommend it highly to switch to first person mode is when you're inside a building. Other than that, it's really up to you if you want to be in third person or first person. Uh, right now, I'm waiting for the next circle to pop. It's phase four already. So from now on, the blue will be extremely dangerous. But remember that you can outrun it. The only thing you have to pay attention to is that whenever you run next to someone and you try to you know fight with each other don't get caught in the blue so as i told you guys uh, the blue is extremely slow on me candy so you can easily outrun it even i can even crouch walk if i want to Oh, my <laughs> trigger glitched, couldn't shoot. Whoa. <laughs> ah, it was pushing me, man. <laughs> My trigger glitched on that guy, so I couldn't finish him in time. He damaged me, and I couldn't heal up because there was another guy over there. Uh, I don't understand those guys who are not in the safe zone and still try to fight with others. But it's up to him. He lost it, that game because of his own mistake. And I was unlucky because there was another guy. And I have around 300 wins. Probably a little bit more already. So, uh, as I told you guys before, when I do hot drops, I try to use the same locations within the compound itself to drop. And I landed here dozens of times already, so I know the full layout of the map, of this area at least. So, I know where to go, check for loot. If an enemy is pushing me, I know which uh, area I should hold to maximize my chances of winning. And you guys asked if the source marker is back, and yeah, it's back. I just clicked uh, R1 once, and the soft mark appeared on the compass. So check your settings. 
it's back. In my opinion, it's easier to get wins in squads. Because it's like uh, you have multiple lives depending on your teammates. If you make a mistake and you get sniped or shut down, you can still be raised by your teammates. Which is pretty cool in my opinion. I think uh, the hardest is to get a win in solo, but it's just my opinion. I like to use the hip fire a lot, and I just noticed that uh, five weapons with fives have better hip fire. Maybe it's just me, but for some reason I have the feeling that seven weapons are not so good at hip firing. Thank you, well.